What is going on, guys? We're back. Uh, today, we're playing some Formula One 2018. We're racing Japan. And uh, I think after this, we'll also uh, stay tuned and we'll run the, la the next race as well. Uh, looks like we're going to be racing in some water this time. I qualified first place. I'm running for uh, Mercedes AMG. So, right now my car is uh, about as close to max as you can get. I picked this game up for like $5 and some change on G2A.com. Not sponsored. That's just uh, sometimes I look on there and get some deals on some games. Uh, we finally got the uh, PC set up where we can maybe start recording some stuff on this again I think I finally have the issues figured out this will be my first video on PC in a long time I'm actually playing with the Xbox Series X controller I don't do the whole much mouse and keyboard thing so with that being said we are just kind of sort of along for the ride. Let's see how well we pull this off. I'm not feeling the greatest in the world about racing in the rain. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of you guys probably didn't even know that I actually liked Formula One. You know, a lot of my channel and stuff is based on just zombies and it's been quite a bit of farming lately. Trying to diversify just a little bit and uh, mix it up. Uh, I've had to cut my graphics down on my PC because it likes to, you know, what you say, bottleneck when you run the, you know, games on higher settings and try to record. I think that's been the issue all along. I'm not real positive. We're looking good from the start. But with everything being said, man. We're starting to open that gap up. Our teammates right behind us. And we got the red, which is Ferrari. They're the best team in this game. I went with the second best team when I started my career mode. Wasn't looking for that to happen, but that happened. This track is wet, man. These tires are just kind of sliding everywhere. This rain just, uh, it makes it hard to keep this car under control at 160 plus. You know, Formula One cars being open wheel, they spin very easy and slide a lot. This is uh, my first playthrough, you know, as far as career mode. I think next season I may go with the worst team and see if we can boost them up quite a bit. I know I've already got a good thing going with Mercedes, but in the beginning, I almost got fired because they didn't like me very much. You know, now that I'm a front runner, I got the car upgraded and stuff. They seem to be pretty happy with my performance on track as long as I watch what I say. And uh, I'll leave the reporter questions in at the end of the race so you guys can check that out. Uh, I like older games, you know. I've played a little bit of 21 or 22, one of the two of the Formula Ones, on Game Pass on Xbox. I haven't spent a whole lot of time in Formula One. I like Formula One as much as I like NASCAR. So, I hope you guys don't mind that I'm mixing it up and uh, swapping some gears just a little bit. Cause I've got a few things I wanted to show you. Uh, I recently done a one terabyte upgrade for the hard drive on my PlayStation 3, so I've just now got it back going. So maybe in the next few days we can get some zombies content out there for you guys, or at least get it recorded. I'm not sure even when you're going to see this video yet. Just trying to mix it up and 
keep things interesting because I don't do that often. Uh, we got some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Warzone coming soon. So I hope you guys are ready for that because I'm ready to uh, stream that. I'm going to actually be live when I decide to do that. Um, right now, I'm having a hard time diversifying because I do a lot of recording versus streaming. Uh, I'm going to try to swap gears a little bit and get some more streaming in as well because I haven't done that a lot lately. We'll get some Modern Warfare 2 Warzone going. And uh, we'll try to do some zombie streams too here and there. So if you guys would be interested in playing on PlayStation 3 with me, uh, you'll just have to uh, leave me a comment and get my gamer tag. A lot of you already know it. Uh, my Xbox is Fat Boy One. That would be to get a hold of you know to play with me on some Warzone 2. Uh, Warzone One is actually currently down for maintenance until November the 28th. Today is November the 19th of 22. So, as of this recording, like I said, I'm not sure what day you guys will actually see this. I do a lot of my recordings pre-term before I get ready, before I even get them ready to edit and upload. Because editing takes, you know, it takes me about 12 hours takes about as long to get them recorded up and posted as well you know I spend over 12 hours a day working on videos and stuff when I have time and it's uh, gears have changed with me it's uh, now quality over quantity so I do my best you know to try to diversify but as I go through changing settings that I always have to remember to go back and change when I do my main videos and stuff because PC's not my main focus. In the coming year I'm looking to upgrade to a better one so that can open up a whole lot more options. I'm really trying to steer away from console. Uh, the one I have now, I mean, it plays pretty much what you want to play. It just some games it doesn't like, and some games it does. It all really just depends on what it is we're playing. You know, I diversify as much as I can, and I try. But there's only so much you can do when you're limited by your resources. You know, I try not to let that stop me. And I think I may have figured out the issue with this one of like, you know, how to record now. And it just not freeze and lag on everything. So, you know, I got a library of PC stuff that, I, that you guys haven't ever really even got to see because, you know, I've been having issues with throttle on my computer and I think I finally figured that out. See, that mainly happened when I upgraded to Windows 11. Uh, and I really should have stayed at Windows 10, I believe, because 11 really just doesn't have it as far as when it comes into gaming and stuff. You know, it's getting better. Slowly. I'm not going to say that I've got it perfect, but I've got it playable. And uh, I'll just have to make up for a lot of that. As we go, our gas lights flash. So we're getting low on fuel. If that goes solid, we're going to run out of fuel. This car, these tires is getting worn. They're sliding everywhere. So for, even though we're flashing on fuel, we're just going to push it full throttle. Bad thing is we probably shouldn't push it so hard with worn tires because this car spins so easy. And we've got this race in the bag. As long as I don't fuck up right here, we've got it. Yeah, we finished in a fuck up spin, but we got it. Absolutely awesome. Just amazing. Well done. 
No big deal there. We pulled it off. Welcome then to the podium, our top three driver. I'm proud of that. We actually pulled that off and we were slipping and sliding bad. Here's how so here's these questions that I was talking about. Amazing performance out there. You must be really happy. You took the top points today. Was it a comfortable win? So you gotta answer these correctly or your team might hate you. Another podium. You must be getting used to it up there. So I'm just gonna answer them with the correct answers. Do you think that your close rivalry has helped you out this season? So it looks like you've invested heavily in the development of new parts. Appreciate your time. But uh that's that guys. I'm gonna come back to the next race and then I will see you guys over there. What is going on guys? We're back. We're on the next race on Formula One. Uh, this time we're racing in USA. So, we're going to get started here. Get this car off the line. Our teammate just blew by us and they just wrecked us. So, we're just going to fast forward that backwards just a little bit. And we're going to go on this outside because they're fucking wrecking us and that's not right. Because I get a penalty if I wreck them. So, with that being said, Ferrari is out front. This car is terrible on this track. And when I say terrible, I mean terrible on this track. That start was okay. Now stay alert for threats around you. But we've got it out front. That is definitely a start. Now we just got to keep it out front. I know we're getting close to the end of the season. I probably only have five or six more races left. I'm working tirelessly to try to finish this first season. But we've prevailed. So far we got ahead. So proud of this. As I said in the first part of this video, you know, my car is pretty much as uh, max as it's going to get. So now it just matters about how I drive it. On lap two now, we're staying ahead. It's definitely, seems like it's evened itself out now that we're on lap two. Got a little room to navigate it. Because this car is, it's a pain in my ass off the line. It goes so much better. Once it's got about a lap in on it. Kind of set some tires in a little bit. And I get a better feel for it myself, so. I'm glad that I've got a front running car, like I said. Running for Patronus, which is Mercedes AMG. They got a lot of expectations for this team. 
Scudia Ferrari is the number one team for this year in this game. Uh, so I went with the second best team, and I'm trying to take them to the championship. But I think at the end of it, I think that I'm going to actually next season maybe go with that worst team in the game and see if I can win with their car with some upgrades and stuff. But, I mean, I've kind of built up loyalty with Patronas. So, a little scared to go to another team. But if I keep running for the same team, then I don't know how much I would enjoy the game. I want to mix it up and try to go with another team next year. So... I haven't decided what the other team's going to be yet. I think Williams is at the very bottom in this game. So, I might go with them. That or Honda. I don't think I've ever drove for Honda in any of the games I've played. I've always drove for the Mercedes or Ferrari. So... We're just trying to mix it up. Cause I've learned that I can drive this AMG team car with no problems with its upgrades. Struggled a bit in the leading leading off of this first season, but I've got the car set in and I'm starting to enjoy driving this car. So I'm afraid I'm going to hurt myself when I go to another team next year. Unless that team would be Ferrari. Because they're the top tier cars of this season. So, But mine is so much more better because I've put in more points than they have performance wise and got my car where it needs to be. actually Sebastian Vettel that runs for Ferrari in this game he's my rival and so is my teammate Hamilton and so far I've been beating these boys out by a mile because I don't think it's fair that my car seems so much faster than theirs because there are a good ways back there but that seems to be what goes on when you get the upgrades on your car because before I couldn't even get to the front until I started getting some upgrades on the car. Now it just feels like I'm against regulation rules because I'm so much faster than they are. And I don't know why that is. I don't think it should be this like that. Final lap. Final lap if I'm being honest. But, you know, we've, we've had a good season since I got the upgrades going. Like I said, I just wanted to diversify my content, and I got my PC going now, so I can actually do this. You know, it kind of saves on setup times and everything, so... I figured why not, you know. You know, I get a lot of respect from my team and other teams now because I'm such a good driver. And I've had to adapt myself to become this good driver because I had a very shitty car in the beginning and now, you know, I've got a little bit of a monster car and Now it just feels a little unfair. You know, personally, I don't think that if 
I go to another team that I'll have any better chances at winning because that car is going to need so much work and well mine's maxed but it looks like that's it guys we took the win which this I'm proud it. of you become the driver's world champion after that result wonderful job and well deserved and so the celebrations begin and well earned they are indeed it may have looked simple at times well, I won the world championship. How do you like that? At the very top is anything but simple. There's no catching them now, then. We have a new world driver's champion. I won the cup this year. World championship driver right there. How do you like that, man? And now y'all are celebrating for me. In the beginning, y'all hated me, and I took a championship. That's enough of that. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. We also crown a new champion today, as their lead at the top is now an insurmountable one. What a great year it's been for Formula One. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver? That was it, man. I don't think it's the end of the season, though, but uh, that was my win. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. How are you feeling after that win? That's true. You must be happy with the result today. We all underestimated you, didn't we? But that's it, guys, for this video. Just wanted to get through those questions. I'll catch you guys later on.